Joining us now to review how this selection of walls possibly affects the electoral map is 538 reporter Galen Druk. Galen, always good to have you here. Um, you know, we've been talking about these VP picks, and she didn't go with the governor of Pennsylvania. Um, how important is that state? Because, I mean, it's, it's, you have to win it. Yeah, Harris didn't pick Shapiro, of course, but Pennsylvania is as close as it comes right. to a must-win state for both Trump and Harris. In fact, in this moment, it is probably the likeliest tipping point state in the 2024 election, meaning the state whose electors are likeliest to put the winning candidate over 270 in the Electoral College. To put this in some broader perspective, yeah. if Harris were to win Wisconsin and Michigan, then also Nevada and Arizona, but not win Pennsylvania, she's not wrapping up the race unless she wins either Georgia or North Carolina. It's a must-win state. So it, it, is there a path? I mean, there's a path, but it really starts to run through the South. So right. without Pennsylvania, Harris would have to overperform in the Sun Belt, similarly to how Biden did. But those states have shifted away from Democrats since. And so it seems like they are further out of reach today than those upper Midwestern Rust Belt states. So what does it look like right now, the, the, the Harris-Trump matchup, specifically in Pennsylvania? Yeah, so Harris-Trump right now, according to 538 averages in Pennsylvania, is Harris leading by about a percentage point. That matches about what the race looks like in Wisconsin. In Michigan, Harris leads by a little bit more. And nationally as well, she leads by more like two percentage points. But I want to caution us here in that I don't have to tell you this has been a month of some of the speediest news cycles we have seen. A month that feels like a year. Exactly. And so it's going to take some time. I would say maybe let's wait until after the convention, after Labor Day, for the sort of standing dynamics of the race to set it. And just clarify, uh, just, just here at the end, because, you know, when J.D. Vance was picked by former President Trump, Democrats jumped you know, all over him, and, and some people said they didn't know him. Same thing's happening now uh, with Waltz. But how important is a VP pick, if important at all? I mean, I know it's strategic sometimes for demographics and sometimes for, you know, portions of the country that you need, but how is it in this particular race? It's a good question. And so as a starting point, according to recent Marist polling, 70% of Americans do not even know who Tim Walls is. Right. And of the people who do know him well enough to form an opinion, 17% uh, have a favorable view, uh, about 12% have an unfavorable view. So net okay. positive, but also widely unknown. And so Democrats and Republicans are both going to be working overtime right now to try to define him either positively or negatively. All right. 538 reporter Galen Drew, thanks so much, as Thank always. You.